Talking to me. I first saw the show in high school and you know would come on real late at night you know showtime and uh it was it was it was revolutionary you know to see these women in these relationships and like how they connected and the way they the way they handled race and love and their careers and every every aspect of their lives you know and it never felt it always felt so real like you you watch it and you're like wow i have gone through that even being young there's some aspect of it where you're like okay that's some you would see it and you'd say wow that's actually something i've been confronted with and i i didn't realize until now that like wow that actually happened to me or that's a real thing so it was really nice to to see that across from you it meant so much to me growing up and you know especially in high school and i think it's not necessarily that I'm like, oh, my God, you haven't seen that? I'm always like, oh, you should check it out because maybe it will do what the show did for me for you. And if not, that's OK. You know, Absolutely. if you're not interested, don't watch it. That's totally fine. It's yeah. your prerogative. <laughs> Woo! This is what I thought living in L.A. was going to be like. Micah is in his 20s um, and he is a young professional. He um, is confident and not like an uh, over um, arrogant way. That's the word I was trying to think of before. He's not very arrogant. He, um, I think, I'm really excited because I think oftentimes, um, although they reflect a lot of realities for trans people, um, a lot of stories about trans folks are, are very, very sad. Um, and we're, I think we're slowly shifting away from that. Um, and I'm really excited. Mike is a confident guy. He very deeply cares about the people in his life. Um, and he's, uh, he is resilient um, and he's kind of still learning about life too, so. Sophie is a TV producer on the show. Uh, has a beautiful girlfriend, Danny. Love her, Ari. Um, yeah, she's definitely someone who puts other people ahead of herself. She's, she's definitely a big old heart. She loves the people around her. She makes sure she takes care of them. She's trustworthy she's that she's that girl you want around you know she's got your back finley is the person that comes into work on monday and is like you will not believe what happened to me this weekend and gets herself in the craziest situations um and i certainly identify with that when i was watching the show i was like oh i want to be shane but in no way was i like as cool or suave as shane and i think finley is a little bit more in the uh, approachable in the sense that it's not aspirational necessarily, but I think a lot of people will see themselves in Finley. That hiatus felt really long. It felt like a decade, right? I missed you. I missed you more. I think there are a lot of conversations, especially on where trans folks fit into queer spaces. Um, when we say LGBT, you know, transgender is a gender, whereas LGB are, are orientations or attractionalities. Um, and they're related, but they are not the same thing. And so um, I think this is a really great way to be really inclusive and um, kind of exploring um, the different types of uh, relationships within community. Um, and I'm really excited to see more trans folks um, included in, in queer spaces. We're making leaps not just in the storylines um, that are being told, but definitely the, um, you know, the way they're going about it. There's trans actors playing six cis characters and I think that's groundbreaking in itself and I think we can use a little bit more of that. It's a little scary before I've met everyone. You you don't know what's gonna happen and they exceeded my expectations to be Wonderful. There's moments that you just want to pinch yourself. I saw Shane and Alice. I uh, saw them in a scene together and I like started crying. <laughs> Once we started, they are so welcoming and incredible and generous and definitely operate in a way that's like, oh, this is our show and this is a different thing. Being able to come up to the writers and being like, you know, just like, it's so relatable, you know? 
like I come up to these women and I'm like oh man like I I can talk to you about anything and and they're so easy to talk to and it's just like it just feels so close something we talk about a lot is how do we make this uh, an authentic person a whole person without necessarily saying this applies to everybody you know this is just one experience this is a Chinese trans man so there's many identities going on there um, and how do we create something relatable um, and genuine and you know not not saying all tra trans men do this all Chinese trans men do this it's an it's a singular story but I do know a lot of people will be looking to that so it is it's a little scary but it's also really exciting and very um, humbling no I I don't feel a lot of pressure. I think I'm just like doing the best I can, doing my work and supporting my fellow actors. Um, but you're right, the show is under a microscope. That's what it should be. We're progressive. Let's do it. Like we are breaking boundaries. So if if you want to hold us to it, that's okay. Hey, honey, give me a smile. Time's up, bitch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>